Hi again. In this topic video, we're going to focus again on perfect competition, but this time think about how the market adjusts from the short run through to a possible long run equilibrium. Just a quick reminder of some of the assumptions and characteristics of the perfectly competitive market. All products are homogenous. In other words, the sellers are selling exactly the same good or service. Every business in the market has equal access to key factors of production. And there are many buyers and sellers. No one single buyer or seller has any control or sufficient control over the market to influence the price. Crucially, from our point of view in this topic video, we assume there are no barriers to entry and exit. There's the free flow of capital in the long run responding to profit signals. And that will be, as you'll see, extremely important in the long term. Each firm in the market has a perfectly elastic demand curve. We assume that all the agents in the market have access to perfect knowledge. There are no, there are no transactions costs in finding out key information. And our working assumption is that firms are profit maximizers. They're looking for an output where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So let's think about how the, the market is going to adjust. A little bit of text first to explain what's likely to happen and then we'll work through the diagram. So if we start off in a situation where most firms in the market are making super normal profit, that sends a signal to other firms that they can make a profitable entry. And as a result, as new businesses come into the market producing the same standardized product, the market supply curve will shift outwards. And it's that which brings down the the market price, assuming demand conditions have remained the same. Now this process of new firms coming in, causing the price to fall, will continue until we reach a point of normal profit equilibrium. In other words, the market price will equal the average cost for a representative firm in the market. And when that happens, there's no further incentive either for firms to come in if there are super normal profits being made, or for some firms to leave the industry if subnormal profits are being made. So that will be the long run equilibrium. And I just want to show you that in, in the form of a diagram. Again, here's our initial position. We make a distinction on the left hand side between the, the market and the diagram on the right is the, the cost and revenue for a representative firm. And in our situation initially, if you think back to our original video on short-term equilibrium, uh, this firm at the prevailing price P1 can make supernormal profit. Now, if that is, that is uh, common to most firms in the market, we'll see the entry of new firms into the industry. So the entry of new firms will bring about an outward shift of the market supply curve. I've drawn it shifting from S1 to S2. And that, of course, brings down the market price to P2. That price, of course, is taken by the firms in the market. So they now have to accept a new lower price, P2. And that now becomes their new demand curve where AR meets MR, uh, sorry, AR2 equals MR2. And hopefully you can see here that the profitability of these businesses has been diminished. The competitive forces of new firms coming in has effectively competed away the supernormal profit. At Q2, this firm is just making normal profit because price equals average cost. So that's going to be the long run equilibrium position for the firm in perfect competition. Now this has consequences for economic efficiency and economic welfare, and we'll explore those in a, in a separate topic video are uh, available on the tutor to you website and the tutor to you YouTube channel. But this is the diagram showing the long run equilibrium under perfect competition. And uh, hopefully that's made things fairly clear for you. So this has just been a short topic video on the perfectly competitive market. And in particular, the adjustment to a new long run equilibrium. Thanks for joining us this time. See you again soon.